Hello, welcome back, Tankers of Blitz Universe. We are taking a look at the T44-100 today. Um, short and sweet, it's basically a T44 with side skirts and a slightly weaker engine. That's about it. And just have a slightly lower rate of fire, which I'm a bit puzzled at, at why it has that, but it's got a slightly worse rate of fire. Negligible, but still slightly worse rate of fire. How can you get this little tonk in the spring maneuvers event? And uh, we're going to take a small look at uh, that as well in a bit. Three games again, stats and numbers, armor profile, uh, etc, etc. It's all in here. And as we have subtitled this video as is uh, Oh, quite usual with uh, premium tank reviews. Is it worth the money? It's a bit hard to answer the question really on this tank, I think, uh, because of the fact that this is an event tank. Um, you can, of course, shell out uh, the gold if you really must, which I have done, obviously, on my contributor account. There's the beauty of having this press account with a fairly unlimited gold uh, from Wargaming, so I can just splash out the gold and, uh, and then tell you if it's worth it or not. Um, but yeah, for just having this tank like, I don't know, two, three days earlier than anybody else and then having to shell out near 16k of gold, not worth it. We're going to take a look at uh, the gold price uh, in, in a second or more. I'm going to talk about it. In the meantime, we're really <laughs> taking this Yark Ponder apart. Uh, small little tip, I mean, just look at it. Didn't burn to death completely, which was unfortunate. But two big HE shells and a fire into the butt of a Yark Panther. Thank you very much. I'm going in dry, no loop whatsoever. Um, I'm going to take a look at what I run in terms of equipment as well. And I think it will come as no surprise that I decided to run calibrated shells on this one. Because it is, uh, yeah, it has the Mod 1 gun, the LB1 gun, a version 100 uh, millimeters, which gives you a uh, very good, in a uh, very good uh, pen or uh, pen uh, damage numbers, as you can see. But crappy pen. I mean, uh, that's uh, that's T26 E4, obviously. That has good frontal armor. But as soon as I switch to AP, uh, I really don't have much of uh, of a chance of penetrating the front of a T26 E4. Um, I'm, I'm not a Centurion that has, what is it, 228 base, I think? And on this one, the T44-100, it's, it's, it's not a lot, it's 175, I think, stock, and I'm running uh, the calibrated shells, which, though, do help me out a bit. Uh, this one, uh, the Helsing, is bouncing on my front plate. You really should drive the tank like this. Uh, I'm going to look at armor inspect as well to show you just what I mean with that. You can wiggle a bit and then catch a shot left, right, and then center on your tracks. Because your armor profile isn't spectacular, but it has that Russian front plate, so that is slowed back, uh, making it uh, fairly effective if you wiggle it around like I did over there. Um, bait enemies into shooting their tracks through the size of your armor and then you catch it on the tracks, on the track you get tracked in place for no damage taken whatsoever, so that can be good. We take two missions over here, so don't look at the credits, these are a bit skewed in that regard. But yeah, it's a tier 8 premium. And tier 8 premiums obviously have the possibility in terms of uh, grinding credits. So, yeah. Um, what are we going to do now? Uh, first into stats and numbers, then armor profile, then garage chisel, and then I'll talk you through whether I think this tank is worth the money or not. And here is the whole lot in Compare Tanks, Blitzstars.com. T44, uh, 100 T44, the 54 Mod 1, the Type 59 on the far right side. Um, and you can see that basically the tank is... They are pretty similar to T44 and a T44-100, except for this little fact you have a very bad engine. You have a really bad engine, as you can see. It, it I mean, um, you, you weigh just a bit more, it, it, j just a bit uh, fatter in terms of weight. Uh, you have the same type of engine as the Mod 1, but that at least has got some armor, as you can see. Um, the FC FCM-50T 
and the AMX they have far bigger engines and the Panther as well but all in all in terms of armor profile and stuff it isn't I don't think it's a really bad tier 8 premium if you look at the uh, department over here in terms of stats and numbers and obviously 280 alpha per shot well fairly nifty then again if you have a type 59 or a mod 1 in your uh, garage why would you need a another tank like this well, while we take a look at the uh, armor pro here and armor inspector and uh, the nice uh, HD textures in World of Tanks Blitz um, yeah it is it is of course a tier 8 premium so it can earn credits pretty well um, but I think it's not the easiest tank to play. The Mod 1 has far better armor and the T44-100 has got uh, good armor. But you really need to put it all the way like this for the front plate to become a, uh, an autobahn's angle. Which means that uh, you can't shoot anyone because your gun is just pointing up in the air. You have uh, less gun depression as well at the regular 44. You can of course side scrape with the white tracks and uh, the side skirts. Um, and if you put the tank like this, like we did against that housing, pulling back around uh, rocks and ridges and uh, around corners, you can wiggle around and bait people into shooting your, uh, your track wheels, your tracks, side scrape, just a, li a little bit better. And don't be fooled by the description in-game, it's only 6mm those side skirts. Um, in-game and on the portal, on the World Wide Web, Wargaming have it advertised at 75mm. Oh my god, if it if it really had been 75 millimeters, that would have been a monster. Yeah, a real big monster. Uh, in terms of loadout, I already mentioned it earlier on the game on Canyon. Uh, you can see what I'm running here in terms of consumables. Uh, the repair pack, the multi-pack and adrenaline provisions, standard fuel and double rations, condensed milk and extra combat rations. You could do the improved fuel, obviously. But it will cost you more, but it will still give you uh, better in terms of, uh, of of traverse speed, etc. Why it stated that I would go down a rate of fire, I have no idea, but it did. And here's my ammo loadout, and in terms of ammo, like that, I'm running a calibrated shells here, giving me 184 instead of 175 on AP, and 247 on my uh, APC on. Right, we're on to uh, Black Goldfield for the next game. Uh, let me then talk you through whether I think this tank is worth the money or not. If you tap on the Spring Maneuvers icon in the game, you will see that you have six stages to go up to the T44-100. And all these stages you can complete, obviously with, uh, with gold, as per usual. But you need combat emblems and spring pins. Um, so yeah, do you really want to shell out the gold? I don't think you really want to. I mean, it's it is a lot of gold. It is sixteen thousand one hundred and sixty-three gold straight away, and you would only get the tank just a, a bit quicker. I mean, you can get it for free if you really try hard. Um, and the first stage will cost you 618 gold, then 2200, 4300, 6800, 9600, 12700, and that's all cumulative as well. So, the more stages you complete by just playing games from tier 5 up to 10, and then also uh, com completing your miss missions, you can take a lot of the price of the T4400, you do need to shell out 16k of gold for a tier 8 premium, which is basically a T44 with a weaker engine, less gun depression, and side skirts. I mean, yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, I think you could enrich your regular T44 for 16k gold, and you would have practically the same tank uh, with the same gun, the same alpha. Uh, so yeah, if you really want to shell out 16k of gold, I would enrich a T44. But even then, that would be not worth the money because an enriched tank doesn't give you as much XP as a uh, regular premium. So yeah, decisions, decisions, all decisions needed uh, while we were brawling our way through the Bulldog and then the LTTB. Um, and we're going up now. 
on Black Gold Veil. Uh, and you can see once you once you get the tank up to speed, the T44, it's decent. It moves around uh, fairly well, but it's not not a speed monster. Um, this is a bit. I thought you was hoping to hit that small little strip and then penetrate with. Uh, HE through the back of a Falcon. I think if you're on 190 degrees, you could well uh, take him out, no problem whatsoever. The ISU has just blasted a 54 lightweight for 700 plus health, so I can safely shoot him and then go forward and then go, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, because there's an issue 152 over there. Um, and we managed to beta shot the 54 lightweight and I out of him, so I can tap him as well. For my fifth kill, and this is going to be a very cheeky um, pools medal. Not a Resenia, which uh, this video also proves in a way that uh, Resenia medals are indeed part luck and part skill. Because in terms of damage, etc., this is a very cheeky game. But you can see the mod one in a, in a slightly different way compared to the first game, uh, where it was more of cat and mouse and sitting over there. This this was driving around and uh, using the mobility, which you do have, obviously. And this is uh, just shy of 2k damage, and you can see the credits I earned over there. It's a decent credit earner, provided you don't spam APCR. I mean, yeah, it can be tempting to spam it. I think. Because your uh, because your yeah, your pen numbers just aren't that good. But then again, a T45 has the same, so yeah, it, it's doable to play that uh, pretty well. There is again the credits, and yeah, only <laughs> ten shots, six kills, Reaper for three, and I missed a uh, kill shot on a VK45 OTA. But we got a pulse medal anyway, so I'm happy, and that leads us into the last game for today on Castilla. Again, a supremacy match. Uh, we are top tier on this one. I had a few bottom tier games as well, but those weren't too impressive, I think. I'm not sure. I think I'll have to check. It was a, was a pretty pretty cool looking one on uh, Rockfield, where just everybody was just just bundling up together. And in the end, it was I, I was screaming at my uh, at my phone really for <laughs> for T44 for uh, he, who wasn't shooting that one shot AMX 1319 over there at 100 health which would have secured us the win anyway but everybody was just driving around like a lunatic it, it's event time again but by the looks of it I mean people just want to get the games done as quickly as possible and get XP and they think they have to really really work hard to get the games on I mean it's 30 games you have to do 30 games three games the best uh, the best in terms of XP gives you uh, the combat emblems and if you then uh, do another game um, good game you, 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 uh, out of 10 it, it, it's 30 in total if you have it, it then, then you are gone and then you are okay I'm screw this shot oh bad um, but yeah that's basically all you have to do it, it's not rocket science you have to play 30 games and you get your combat, combat emblems done and if you have your combat emblems done then you will be able to just uh, yeah. complete it. There's no need to rush and complete it. Um, but it, it happens from time to time in, in the event. People th really seem to think that they have to go in as quickly as possible because they will probably get obliterated by other things. And I think this SP is shooting HE at me, judging from the number of damage he's doing. Yeah, that's track, track damage. Okay, thank you very much. GG, get shot in the butt. Well, we can kill the SP now. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Righty, find us another target. What's left? There is a Tiger 1, which we just can't shoot. There's an AT-15, but I'm not too much bothered about that. We have the usual camper uh, slash sniper, thinking he's been all good on top of the Castilla. But yeah, he's denying the Reds from taking B, so in a way he's uh, effective. There's an AT-15 over there. Am I spotted? No. Still not spotted. Yes, I'm spotted now. There we go. Well, we can kill you. Thank you. There we go. Okay, we finished them all. There's a tiger over there. Tiger 2. And. Oh shit, he's watching. <laughs> go back. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Yeah, shoot. And again. Oh, bounce. No, we didn't even scratch them. I have. Uh, I haven't got enough penetrating uh, values, pen numbers to go through the front of a tiger 2. So, yeah, is this worth the money? 
if you can get it for free, why not? By all means, uh, I would say so. Actually, I think because it's a tier eight premium, and if you can get a tier eight premium for free, why not? Lucky shot. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but if you, yeah, if you already have the likes of a mod one and a type fifty nine in there, and you are looking at shelling out gold. Nah, not so much. Not so much. I mean. In that regard, it just isn't worth it, and it's, it's especially not worth it to shell out uh, 16k of gold just to get a tank a bit earlier. Get it for free, all well and good. Uh, pay money for it. Uh, if you have a mod 1 or a 59, I wouldn't do that, to be honest. Um, just ever so slightly unlucky uh, to get... To don't get the kill on the lower or maybe added damage etc but three kills and a base captured uh, two bases captured and he and the crap out of that sp1c was fun as well but this one gives us uh, 58 net income and a first class for 1139 in terms of xp again 10 penetrating hits so yeah not a brilliant tank i think but it's a good tier 8 premium tank um so yeah why not? Go, go go in there, get stuck in on the spring maneuvers. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm happy with all the support. We're slowly growing towards 5k of subscribers. And if you ever considered sponsoring the channel, please do so on Patreon. Links are below in the description. As for now, I greet you all, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe. Cheers, happy tanking, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.